Prime Minister Keir Starmer is facing backlash after accepting gifts worth thousands of dollars, including Taylor Swift tickets and luxury clothes for his wife. While Starmer has now paid for some of the gifts, the scandal has spiraled out of control as peers in his government have also taken gifts from donors. Our final report explores this growing issue of gifts and giveaways in British politics. Britain has a long history of taking things that don't belong to them. Remember the Kohinoor diamond? It's a glittering symbol of colonial plunder. Well, it seems that old habits die hard. Because the British Prime Minister, Keir Starmer, is caught in a storm over freebies. The man in charge of the country apparently borrowed tickets to see Taylor Swift and rent his wife's wardrobe for London Fashion Week. Yes, you heard that right. He's paying back more than £6,000, which is nearly about $8,000 worth of gifts and hospitality. However, the British Prime Minister has drawn the line at football tickets. After all, being the Prime Minister of a country comes with perks and he needs a VIP box for security reasons. Starmer's impressive list of returned goodies include four Taylor Swift tickets worth $3,600 and he even coughed up over $2,500 for a day out at the Doncaster races. But his generosity doesn't stop there. Over $1,000 was repaid for his wife Victoria's rented fashion ensemble and an hour of hair and makeup. After making his wife happy, the British Prime Minister went on a shopping spree and bought clothes and glasses worth around $44,000 from Labour peer and donor Wahid Ali. Tama, however, didn't just stop at fancy suits. He also borrowed the keys to Ali's $2.37 million penthouse during the election campaign. The reason? To protect his son from pesky journalists while the kid studied for his senior secondary exams. Now, after creating a lot of ruckus and happily enjoying all the freebies, the British Prime Minister has now vowed to overhaul the rules on freebies for ministers. Presumably to stop future leaders to enjoy the perks he once had. So, he promised to set principles of general application. Because until now, British politicians have been winging it, using their best individual judgment. And of course, Starmer's not alone in this. Angela Rayner, the Deputy Prime Minister, was recently hosted at a DJ booth in Ibiza. The hospitality valued at a modest $1,000. Feeling a bit formal, Foreign Secretary David Lamy also enjoyed a Spurs versus Arsenal match, complete with hospitality, to the tune of $3,000. Because why settle for standing in the bleachers when you can have luxury seating? In the grand scheme of British history, the Prime Minister accepting a few thousand pounds in freebies might seem trivial. After all, it's not exactly stealing the Kohinoor, is it? But it sure does add a modern twist to Britain's rich tradition of taking things that aren't quite theirs. First Post decodes the U.S. election. Explains how America chooses its president. Your primer on the race to the White House. Everything you need to know about how America votes and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained. Every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.